Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a pinch pot for you today, um, which is one of the earliest and simplest methods of building with clay. So we're going to start with a piece of clay, I'm not going to go too big, I'm going to turn it into a ball. Now the method I use for pinching pots, I work um, with it to make a sphere and then build something from the sphere. Um, so it's not exactly a traditional pinch pot. Um, but we start out by making a sphere with the clay. And if you just put it back and forth between your hands, I find this is, with your hands curled, I find this is one of the best ways to get clay into a ball shape. And then we just smooth out any of the creases. It doesn't have to be too neat at this point. I just after getting a general shape. <coughs> Jewels. For doing the pitch pot where we're going to turn it into a sphere. Um, tools that we need. I've got some slip, uh, rubber kidney, cheese wire, and my trusty knife that I use for almost everything. So we're going to start by cutting the ball in half. So if we wrap the cheese wire around, put the handles, both handles into one hand, put your other hand on top, make sure it's somewhere around the middle, and then just pull. And it will cut it straight through. Right, so we're now going to do the pinch pot. So you're going to take this part of your thumb, press into the middle of the pot. Now I tend to press with my thumb against the palm of my hand. I try and avoid my fingers because it puts finger marks into the side of the pot that we then have to tidy up later. Whereas if you press against your palm, it tends to keep the outside nice and smooth so there's less tidying to do later. We're then going to tilt upward press to the outside edge, turn it a little bit and press again. Turn and go all the way round until you have like a daisy pattern from your thumbprint in the middle. I'm going to smooth it a bit more, just rest it in the palm of your hand, again using the that part of your thumb and we're just going to gently stroke the surface and smooth and what this does is even out the clay in the middle a bit um, it also gives you a nice smooth surface if you're making something where you can see the inside smooth the inside with a thumb now for what we're doing i need this nice flat edge because i'm going to make the same thing with this half and we're going to put them together to make a hollow ball so we're taking a solid ball and turning it into a hollow ball so we do exactly the same thing with this one. So you push your thumb into the middle and then go around, press to the outside edge to do the daisy pattern. And then we smooth. The thing you need to be careful of is we want both to fit together. So you don't want to make the second one too big. So we're now going to stick the two halves together and we're going to do this using the scoring and slipping method which is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to score the surface that we're going to use to stick together. So the surface very lightly that we're going to join together and we do that all the way around. on both pieces. And this is a method that we use for sticking in general with clay. 
So we put the score down and then we have here my pot of slip, which is just watered down clay. And we're going to put the slip on the surface that we've just scored. The slip is a bit like glue. It helps with sticking the two pieces together. We want enough on there to fill in the lines that I've just drawn. And then we can stick the two halves together. Okay. If you put it in your hands, you can use your fingertips to just gently press the two edges together. And now we're going to join the two halves with by blending the clay over the visible joint and make that disappear. I'm scraping the clay across the surface. I'm not pressing in too hard. Um, because if you press in too much, your uh, ball shape ends up a bit more like a hamburger. Once it's all blended together, we can smooth the surface either with the sides of a tool like so or we can use a nice soft rubber kidney Once it's nice and smooth, you can then turn it to whatever shape you want. So if you want it back round again, you gently tap. It's quite strong because the air is sealed inside and is supporting the inside um, for you. But if you're going to make something from it, um, like a, an animal, a cat or a dog or an owl or chicken, you can now change the shape to turn it into whatever it is you want to build. So I'll do a very quick, very, very quick owl shape. So I'll do eyes. You can put a beak in. And because we left the clay quite thick, there's enough clay that we can carve out some sections without it getting too thin.
and that's a very simple owl shape. Okay, so that's a pinch pot to make a sphere into an owl. Okay, so to make a, a small pinch pot ball, it's basically the same technique. We start with a ball, pop it in your hand and press your thumb into the middle. And a more traditional and why this is called a pinch pot is because you then start to pinch around the outside edge. Do this a little bit at a time, don't try and go too fast. Um, or you'll end up with a very flat piece of clay rather than a bowl. So we do this a little by little. And we just go around and pinch. It's a little pinch pot ball. We'll let it dry off a little bit and then we can tidy the edges um, if you want to. I quite like the rough natural looking edges but it um, depends what you want to do with the bowl afterwards. So that's the basic pinch pot techniques. Um, I hope that's helpful and you enjoyed it um, and I will see you again soon.